Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and today I'll be doing a review on the Lego Marvel set 76291, the Avengers Assemble Age of Ultron. This set has 613 pieces and retails for $100 in the US. You get 9 minifigures included, 6 of which being the Avengers, and it's so cool that we're finally getting the Avengers, like all 6 of them, in a play set. But it's also kind of like a diorama set, so you can see it's obviously based off that insanely cool shot from the beginning of Age of Ultron where all the Avengers are together. And again, I'm just really loving this new style where you get a diorama set that collectors will love, but you also get a really cool play set that kids will enjoy with a lot of cool play features. So I'll show you all that in this review. So without further ado, let's jump right on into this review. First up is Iron Man in his Mark 43 armor here. I think it looks very accurate to that suit. I like the leg printing as well as the toe printing. I also think the torso printing looks very accurate there. The way they're able to like shape the front of that just looks so cool. And like the arc reactor, even like the silver bits of detailing on the side look great. You also get a few silver bits on the back of the torso too, which is very accurate. You can see it has the newer style Iron Man helmet here. I think the print on there is the best they've made it look so far. So that's very nice. You can get some printing on like the side of the mask there. And you can lift it up and find a generic Tony Stark face print there with like the heads up display. And you also get a more like normal Tony Stark face print without that. So that's all very nice. No hair piece included though. Um, but you do also get a few like translucent blue accessories there, which attach to like the little clear stands that can have like hovering when you're displaying the set. So that is overall very cool. I think there's a great mini figure. He's not exclusive. He also comes in the Iron Legion battle pack from this wave, but still a fantastic looking mini figure with some very cool prints. Next up is Black Widow. And while this mini figure is a repeat from that four plus set that she came in, I personally didn't have that set yet. So I'm very thrilled that she's here. And you can see that the lake printing looks really great there with the knee pads as well as that phenomenal toe printing. I also think the torso printing is really great here and definitely a highlight of the minifigure with like the Black Widow logo, even like the blue lines on the side that kind of carry down to the legs there. You also get a very detailed back torso print. I think the face printing, which is the Jen Erso face, I believe, just isn't the best though. I just, I don't think it resembles Scarlett Johansson that much. So personally, I would have liked a new face printer, just something better, but still, it's not the most inaccurate face. And she also includes a very great hair piece here, which I believe was introduced for Black Widow in the Age of Ultron sets when like the movie was coming out. So it's really funny that they're still using it, but I think it works really well for her character. And you can also see she includes a gun as an accessory, but overall, I think she's one of the best minifigures of the set. Next up is Captain America. And while I do really like this minifigure, he's definitely not without his flaws. You can see that the leg printing is non-existent there. And like even dual with the legs would have looked nice, but you get absolutely absolutely nothing and that is a shame it definitely takes away a lot from this minifigure I do think the torso printing looks pretty good there with all the intricate details like the little like little dots on like the white there as well as like the shoulder straps and like the red there just all looks really nice um you can also see that he includes a shield which is very nicely printed and you can see there's a neck bracket as well as a clip and that just looks kind of ridiculous it's like so far away from his back like I feel like Lego should just print it on his back or just like created a new mold like I feel like there's a lot better options here but regardless it still looks pretty cool and it makes it more unique um you can also see that the helmet here looks great it's the one that was introduced in the end game sets and it still looks great here i like all the printing on there as well as like the hole on top so you can like place an accessory if you wanted to um you can see the face printing is also phenomenal there with the chin strap and looks great with the helmet and Captain America minifigures have definitely come a long way. Um, they used to like just make a dark blue head and then print the face and there like all the details. But again, we've just come such a long way. It looks so cool here. Um, you can also see on the back that there is another face print there without the chin strap, but you don't get a hair piece included though. So it just looks a bit weird when you put the helmet on there. So I feel like Lego was just too lazy to make a new Captain America face print. But on this side, I still think it looks pretty cool. And like, overall, I think he's a really great looking minifigure. And removing all that stuff from his back, you can see you get a very detailed back torso print. Next up is Thor. And while this minifigure is very cool, it is completely inaccurate to Age of Ultron. This is the look he has in like the first Avengers movie as well as like the first Thor. So it's a shame there wasn't a new torso print included here, but the torso printing itself is still pretty detailed. There's like a bit of blue on there as well as like a bit of red, like all very, very cool. But again, it's just super inaccurate. Um, you can also see that he includes the brand new rubber cape here, which looks very nice here. It's a lot like the Doctor Strange one from a few years ago. And it is pretty cool. I think it will look great on Superman. I really hope it's used on him in the future, but it is still pretty cool to get it with Thor here. I don't like it will replace the fabric ones me personally i don't know if lego plans to include fabric ones in the future but personally i kind of still prefer the fabric ones but this is still pretty cool um you can also see they get a very detailed back torso print as well there was like really cool details on the side there on um, the face printing is also pretty cool there with like really like happy expression on the other side and you get a much more angry expression with like some lightning coming out of the eyes which is all very cool and he includes his mjolnir um, hammer obviously and you can see that there's like a really like interesting blue like crystal piece attached to it to kind of represent the lightning so that is very cool and overall it's definitely not a bad board minifigure it is inaccurate but i still like the hammer accessory a lot here you can also see the cape is very cool next up is hawkeye and this minifigure is actually brand new and exclusive to this set which is so nice and i just I love the leg printing so much here with like the knee pads and the toe printing and it just carries up to the torso and that, that just all looks phenomenal there. I love that so much. I think it looks so clean. I also really like the hair 
piece here from the Marvel Cinematic Series 2 Hawkeye minifigure, but I'm not a big fan of that face print there. I just, I don't think it resembles Jeremy Renner that much. And I don't know, it just, it was the same one they used in the Avengers Tower, and I didn't like it there, and I really don't like it here. I think the CMF face would have been a lot better, just a new face print, but it's definitely not the worst thing in the world, and there is no back head print because it's such a generic face print. Um, but you can see he also includes the bow mold from the Marvel Cinematic Series 2, and he also has his quiver as well. And you can see on the back of the torso, you also get some very detailed printing with even like a stripe of red going down, which is very nice. And next up is Hulk, and this minifigure brings me back so much nostalgia from that original Hulkbuster set from the original Age of Ultron wave. Like, that was just such a cool set to have. I love the Hulk fig in that set. And, like, this, again, this minifigure just reminds me of that so much. Uh, it's obviously the same outfit, and, like, again, just such a cool minifig. I love the um, newer style hair, though. You can see that's fully removable, and you get the um, head that can rotate back and forth and be fully removed, too that was introduced in the Avengers Tower there. So that's very nice, but the face print is a bit different. I'm um, excited the um, kind of like torso, not really torso printing, but the printing on the legs there looks so cool. And it's very intricate with even like individual dots on there as well, like different shades of purple and stuff. It's all very, very cool. You can also see that he's super ripped there with a bunch of abs and like, this looks very, very cool. And you also can see that he has the big fig arms and the fist, as well as the studs on the back there to kind of attach anything you really wanted to, like a Hydra soldier or something. But overall, this is a, like such a cool minifigure and it brings you back so much nostalgia and he's easily one of the best minifigures of the set. Next up are the two Hydra troopers here and they are both identical, but I actually think they're pretty underrated. I like the torso printing a lot, with, like the little bits of camo there, as well as like the bits of gold and like purple. I also think the head printing is pretty unique. There was like the kind of like visor they have and it's like kind of like purple they're like all very very cool you also get some back head printing which they all have helmets so it's kind of weird that they added that but it's still pretty cool and you can see that they have some like white like stud shooters here and i'm like they're definitely oversized but they are still pretty cool and they just fire off like that um and they're basically the same minifigure from the iron legion battle pack like the minifigure itself is actually the exact same but the um the gun here is in a different color and this one actually shoots studs um, while this one shoots like these little like tile pieces so again really interesting decisions i'm not quite sure why but regardless i think they're both very cool mini figures and you also get another hydra trooper which is a bit different in this set and the only thing that makes this hydra trooper in this set different from the other ones is the fact that he has a jetpack here it's definitely nothing insane but it is still a pretty cool build and it makes him feel more unique Overall, I think as far as the minifigure selection goes in the set, it's flawless. All six Avengers was a must for a set like this. And like the three Hydra Troopers are also very detailed and great army builders. But at the same time, Thor is very inaccurate to what he's actually supposed to look like in this movie. And Captain America could have been a little bit more detailed. But regardless, it's still great to get all six Avengers. And like I said, the Hydra Troopers are very army buildable and very cool minifigures. So I'm still very impressed by this minifigure selection. I think it's very solid. Now taking a look at the different builds of the set, this technically isn't like a build, but it is something that attaches to the build and kind of becomes part of the display. So I don't want to take a look at this. It's just Captain America's motorcycle, but I love the dark blue coloring of it, as well as like little pieces around it and like the headlight there, and then you get also get the handlebars and the tires there, and you can obviously drive it around if you wanted to. And you can obviously then place Captain America on there, and that is very cool, and it's the main reason he actually includes this goofy all looking back attachment. So that's why he has that, but you could also have him like throw the motorcycle like he does in the movie if you wanted to, and that could also be a fun way to Kind of play around with it for kids so overall really cool and it also looks great when it's on display next up is the jeep the hot guy and black widow jump out of and you can see it looks pretty cool it's definitely more accurate than the one we got in the original age of ultron wave even though i have a lot of nostalgia for that set too but this looks great you can see you get room to see two mini figures as well as a really cool print there um you can also see you get this really nice piece there and the steering wheel so that's very nice you also get two um like tools in the front that are attached with these clips here and that's also very nice to get. I'm not sure how accurate that actually is, but it's cool to get that. You also get some headlights in the front, this piece here, which is also very nice. And on the back, you get room to place some minifigures and obviously the stands that the minifigures are actually jumping from. You also get these two like backpack pieces attached there. They can't really be removed unless you like took the whole thing off, but you also get that. And this whole thing is kind of like connected by Technic and that can all be lifted up if you want to. And you can see on the back, you also get those pieces there. And um, you can see in the bottom, um, pretty plain. And then you also get these translucent red pieces on the back. And you can see that it's also very swooshable and drivable. So that's very nice, but you can see you're supposed to grab these little clear like jumper pieces for the minifigures. And then you place it like so on the studs and you place Hawkeye in the back here and you have a very cool display of them jumping out. So that's all very cool, and it's a very cool build for the Jeep as well. Next up is the Hydra Bunker, and this section arguably has the best play feature of the set, in my opinion. You can see that there's a little piece here, and Hulk jumps in, and the whole thing shoots up, and I'll show you that in a second, but you can see, you get these very cool, like, kind of slow pieces, kind of representing the snow, which is very nice, and even, like, right here, and you get a black base underneath that, and inside, there's room to see one of your minifigures, so you grab the Hydra Trooper there, and place them inside to kind of be controlling it on the studs, and then you kind of see this piece here, it kind of looks like a diving board, but Hulk jumps in it, 
and it shoots up and you can attack the Hydra Soldier and that's just very fun and depending on, on how hard you hit it, it will shoot up high or shoot up low. And you also get a stud shooter on top to like shoot a Hulk if you want to so that's very fun and there's also a little room in here then you open the door and there's extra like little studs to shoot out of the cannon so that's very cool and it's a very practical way to like kind of load your load your shooter if you like lose a piece so that's very very nice and you also get a tree on one side here which looks so cool it's using the Rivendell leaf pieces and it just looks so cool with like the snow and like the actual tree color and like just very very cool and I, just, I love the build for the trees in this set there's a bunch here so overall I love this section I think the play feature is very fun the next section here is the little watchtower and I really like the use of these roller coaster pieces to kind of make this watchtower here I think it looks very cool you also get the white pieces down here to kind of be like the snow and you can see there's a technic pin there which the bunker also had and that's to connect to the main base of the set which i'll show you in a second here but you can see you get this piece here with this jumper piece to connect thor to as well as like this little explosion piece there and on top you get these sandbags here which is really cool i think that's such a cool detail and like the build for that was very satisfying like all the like tile pieces here it's it's all very very cool and it makes a really cool look when you have like the hydra soldier on top and so you can see his place one up here and that looks very very cool and then like i said you get that piece here so you place thor and he's kind of like you're like about to like zap it or like flying away from it in the movie i'm pretty sure he actually destroys the watchtower before you see like the whole scene where they're together but it doesn't really matter it still looks very very cool now taking a look at the base of the set where everything kind of connects to you can see it looks a bit weird and nothing's connected to it like obviously hulk could be here in iron man Captain America and like the Jeep that Black Widow and Hawkeye are jumping out of. So regardless, I still think a lot of the building techniques are so clever here. Like I love the um like the little slope pieces here for the snow around the trees and stuff. And like just like even these like parts here look like slopes of snow and like that's obviously where all the stuff connects to. And then you can also see this all the white pieces as well as like the main like black base there. And you can see that the trees just look phenomenal. They're like this one right here looks great. There with like the sand green pieces in the middle. So like these ribbon dull leaf pieces here and like the brighter green and like all this looks really cool. And like this flower piece here on top and this tree here is by far my favorite one like there's just like bigger leaves here in dark green the sand green the light green like small ones and, like the white ones this, it looks so cool and it's such a cool build for a tree and it makes me want to get the Rivendell set because this is just absolutely gorgeous and like such just like great uses of those pieces um we also get a few other trees around it like this smaller one here which also looks great and even this one here some of them have some pretty weak connections not necessarily here but like the one on the bunker can fall off pretty easily but these ones are all like pretty strongly connected with like technic and stuff so that is nice but something that isn't strongly connected are these things here which are kind of like the barriers so like cars don't get through but it just it, they fall apart very easily like this one here has been more sturdy and like this one but this one here like you barely twist them like they just fall apart and like when you're like you're like trying to put everything together they can like normally fall off like it bumps the trees and the tree falls off like it just gets very annoying very fast but they still look very cool and they're pretty satisfying to put together another thing is that the main base is pretty fragile as well i also think this looks a lot like the opening scene from deadpool and wolverine where deadpool's killing all the tv agents so that's another thing you could do with this set if you clear off everything except like the trees and the snow and they can make a really cool stop motion or something is another option to do with this set so that's also very nice but now i'll show you how to connect everything the first thing you can attach is the jeep here and you can see you just attach it to those studs there and you just place it on that and set it down and then it'll kind of like angle downwards and that looks very cool and then these kind of need to be more forces and hit the jeep but that's the first thing you connect and it looks very the next thing you add is captain america on his motorcycle and you just place the motorcycle on the studs there and you can also angle up the shield so it doesn't look as goofy and after that you just grab your iron man minifigure and attach those little like studs on his hands inside that and you can see that he's flying which also looks very cool and he just sits there looking awesome then you grab your hulk minifigure and just place them on this piece here and you just set his foot on that and you can also angle his head the right way and like move his arms if you want to and that also looks really great you can also place your hydra trooper on this piece here and you can see that he's about to get absolutely trampled by the avengers then you can just grab the watchtower that thor is connected to and just place that technic pin into the main base and now that's connected and then lastly you can add the hydra bunker by just pushing the technic pin into there and now everything is complete and when everything is complete on this set and you see all the Avengers jumping and like all the Hydra soldiers and like the beautiful tree builds and like just everything about it just looks so cool and like pictures and videos just really don't do the set justice. It looks so cool in person with all the minifigures actually jumping out, like all the play features, it's just so cool and I'd love to see so many sets like this in the future, like an endgame one, like the final battle or like the civil war battle in the airport would just be so cool as well. So again, I'm blown away by this set and I think it's so cool. And like, I just, I want to see more sets in this style where it's kind of like a diary 
diorama, but also a play set. And again, just such a great set with all the Avengers. I love it so much and pictures really don't do it justice. But that's gonna do it for my review on the Lego Marvel, the Avengers Assemble Age of Ultron set. Overall, I'm blown away by this set. We're, there's already a rumor that we're getting a Civil War airport battle next year. And if it's anything like this set, I already know it's gonna be great. I think the minifigure selection here with all six Avengers is incredible. The Hydra soldiers are also great to get. And like the build itself is just beautiful. The diorama style is just amazing. And overall, I would give this set a nine out of 10. The only real flaws I have with it is that the stability is questionable at times and the Thor minifigure is completely inaccurate. But other than that, this is a great set. I highly recommend picking it up. I think $100 is more than fair with the minifigures you get and the actual build. And like overall, again, I'm blown away with this set. I think it's one of the best Marvel sets of the year. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of this set if you plan on picking it up. And thank you so much for watching this review. I truly do appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this review and have an incredible day. Bye. I also forgot to mention this in the review, but the attention to detail in Captain America is just insane.